So I'm Peter St. George Hislop. I'm a neurologist and a scientist. Uh, my professional interests are in the area of neurodegenerative diseases. I currently hold a, a, a professorial positions uh, at the University of Toronto and also at the University of Cambridge. And uh, within those domains, uh, I, I work with a group of tremendous collaborators trying to use a, a whole a basket of different technologies to understand what the basic mechanisms are of these neurodegenerative disorders. Well done, Peter. You thoroughly deserve this award for your many decades of commitment to scientific discovery, uh, to teaching, and to sheer hard work. Well, so I was completely surprised. Um, so I, I didn't know about the Ryman Prize. I, I didn't know that I had been nominated, um, but I heard that actually I had been. I, I think this is a tremendous prize, even if I hadn't got it, because it, it's a necessary way of shining light on this area that is still somewhat neglected. So really, the entire atmosphere around diseases like dementia and Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease has been really very negative. Um, the public sees them as uh, the end of life sort of issues. Um, they're disorders which people don't often like to talk about. They hide relatives with the disorder away. Um, at least that was what was happening when I started in the 1970s and 1980s. Um, and what's needed to change that perception is, is really for societies to step up and say, it's not a bad thing to have these diseases. And uh, if you work on this disease, we're actually going to recognize that. And by making a prize sort of exclusively on the disorders of the elderly to improve their, their quality of life, um, we'll encourage very bright people who could do anything. But they see this and say, oh, no, this is interesting. There's not many people working on it. I could, I could make a difference there. So, so when I started this, the way that people were looking at it was that they understood something about the pathology of the brain. Uh, this thing's called amyloid plaques and uh, neurofibrillary tangles. And people were fascinated with you know, what was in those plaques and tangles. But it seemed to me that actually what you needed to ask was not what were those plaques and tangles doing, but actually what caused those plaques and tangles to happen in the first place. And in fact, we know that many of these diseases, they start 20 years before symptoms start. And so that 20 years, the disease is silent, but could potentially be measured biochemically. And during that 20 years, you have ample opportunity to intervene and stop it from going on damaging neurons. By the time a patient has symptoms, you know that a large number of neurons have been damaged and most of them won't recover. So you're stuck with a permanent deficit. So our idea was work out the mechanism, mine that information for diagnostic tests and also for places where you could find a drug that blocked that cascade. It, it's, it's really a problem that someone needs to deal with and probably not just me, but a whole bunch of people get together and share ideas and, and move this forward. And, and that's the driving force. It's this intellectual feeling of dissatisfaction that there's this big problem that's not yet solved, although some satisfaction that we have put together some pieces of a puzzle which are beginning to make sense.